our backpack and school supply uh, giveaway in memory of Jonathan Maldonado. And in a few moments, we'll have some family members up here uh, to greet you and uh, kind of get you prepared for that next step in your children coming back to school very soon. I want to thank all of our community who turned out for the event, our parents, uh, our students for being here today. Additionally, I want to thank all of the friends and family of Jonathan Maldonado and may his memory continue through all of the support and organization that you have and that you put forth. Uh, Ecolab is here, who is one of the sponsors, so thank you to all of the members from Ecolab for volunteering today and supporting this uh, very valuable initiative. Today I also have with me um, Mr. Wright, who is Assistant Superintendent for Pre-K through 6 program, and I invite him to the podium to speak now. Thank you, Mr. Gray. I joked with Mr. Gray uh, about 15 minutes ago. I said, you know, he put out a class, don't joke calls for his families, and all of a sudden he starts seeing people coming in. So that lets me know that, uh, that Mr. Gray has some juice, right? You know, he's connected with his family. So thank you all for, for showing up this afternoon. You know, we're here for uh, uh, a bittersweet occasion. Um, we have Mr. Jonathan Maldonado, who unfortunately passed away some years ago, who was someone that attended, you know, the Yonkers Public Schools. You know, someone that was on his way in his journey. He had uh, finished high school and he was giving back. He was working in our community and he was on his way. He was doing a good job over at uh, Pearl, Arthur Pearl School. And unfortunately, you know, he lost his life. But we have his mother here today, Ms. Maldonado, who who keeps Jonathan alive. Um, and she found a very special way to do so by giving back. And so today, Museum 25 was chosen to be the school where Ms. Maldonado gives back. And so I want to thank Ms. Maldonado for her strength and her courage, you know, to continue moving forward and continue his name. Echo Lab, to Eco Lab for the philanthropic work that you're doing here in the community. Look how many people we have here, how many employees we have here for Eco Lab. And that shows how connected they are with Ms. Maldonado and her family. So thank you. And so I'm, I'm not going to keep you much longer because I know I stand in the way of, you know, all of our scholars here getting their supplies, but you know, once again, I just want to thank Ms. Maldonado for her courage and her strength. And I want to invite Ms. Maldonado to come up to the podium to say a few words.
for for being here. Being here not in just product, but in your physical support. That is number one. Thank you. Staples is an amazing store, so they, they support doctors in many different ways. Staples have a whole road. You guys are amazing. Impact, my brother John, thank you. You have been here since day one. And my brother Mike Hader, thank you very much. My friends, my family, my supporters. I need to make sure I put that out there. I, I appreciate you guys. My little granddaughter. Lily, I love you. She is my hands-on and helped me pack over 150 of these bags. Lifting and hugging and pulling. Stand up, Lily. This little girl back here. She's having fifth grade at Pulaski this year, and she's a hard worker. Thank you, Lily. Okay. So, kids, I want to say to you and parents, I hope you have a wonderful school year this year. I hope you're prepared for September 7. I hope this helps you a little bit. I wanna, um, I wanna share a little bit about Jonathan and his backpack and how Jonathan worked as a school aide at Pearls for a short period of time. Jonathan worked with regular ed students and Jonathan worked with autistic children. And Jonathan had his backpack full of treats, whether it was pencils and erasers, and little toys and snacks. So Jonathan had this backpack that was this little way of like a little treat bag. So when I, Jonathan passed away, the following year I was a school safety officer and the following year I had to, I went to work at that school. And I come to discover that he had a bag of treats that he would give to children. So I decided to come along with this back to school drive along with family members. So my little backpack giveaway is a way of something that I felt like Jonathan had a little backpack of treats for kids. So this is for Jonathan. If you saw any picture of Jonathan, Jonathan smiled. There was no picture of Jonathan, so if I could pass this smile and make children smile, that's what I want to do. This could smile on children's faces. Again, thank you all. I wish you a wonderful school year, a safe school year. Thank you for being here. If there's anything I can do for you, Mr. Gray, throughout the school year, I do a lot. I do a lot throughout the school year. I please reach out to you, and I, I love you. Thank you. As every child leaves, the young man at the door is my son. He has little tickets. Child with a book bag, you will receive a ticket. There is an ice cream truck outside. You will get a Mr. Softy. Thank you to John and Pat. Let's, let's give Nancy and the sponsors and family another round of applause for supporting our school community. So we are off to a school year where we are going to rise up even further than we have the past school year. And I know that it's in support of organizations uh, like this one, that really can help bring the community to each child in Yonkers. Uh, and we're thrilled that Museum School 25 uh, was selected this year for this purpose. Uh, the way that we will work this is if you'll formulate a line along the ramp coming down to the stage, you can bring your family through, they can select their backpack of choice, and as they walk out of the auditorium, that's where they'll pick up their softy ticket, okay? And we look forward to an excellent school year ahead. It's so great to see so many of our student faces here. 
I am very proud uh, to be the principal of Museum School, and we are going to rise up like a year you've never experienced before. So thank you all for coming out today. Families, I just want to say this to you in closing. A way that we can honor Ms. Maldonado and Jonathan is by being present this year. Please be present. Be here with your children. Be here with our scholars. Let's help them grow. Museum 25 is a, is a family school. Let's be here, and that will help that will help the smile the model feel. Because she knows she what she's done, what she's had to do for the purpose of keeping her son alive. Thank you. Dr. Robinson, if you can join us on stage as well. Ms. Ponies, can you come in? So at this time, families, if you'll begin to put a line together across the back of the auditorium and down this side, we will have your students select their favorite backpack out of this wonderful selection, and then you're off to Mr. Soft.
I know. Look, um, touch it. Oh, I think that's really great. Don't go in here. Look, we'll have to cut up. 